Hey everyone, it's Sarah with RegisteredNurseRN.com and in this video I'm going to demonstrate how to administer a medication via the buckle route. So let's get started. What is the buckle route? Well the word buckle actually comes from a Latin word buca which means cheek. So we're giving this medication in between the cheek and the gum where it's going to be absorbed into the mucous membrane then into the bloodstream. Now in nursing we don't give a lot of medications this way but there are some groups of medications that are administered the buccal route such as certain types of opioid pain medications, some smoking cessation products, nitroglycerin, which can also be administered sublingual, so always make sure you're reading that medication label, and also anti-seizure medications and some forms of hormone therapy. Now let me demonstrate how to administer a medication via the buccal route. First, you want to perform the medication rites, then hand hygiene and don gloves. Next, you'll want to use a tongue blade to assess the mouth. You're going to be looking at the teeth and the gums, making sure that they're clean. And if they're not clean, this is a good time to provide mouth care. Then assess the mouth, especially the mucous membranes, for any breakdown or sores because you don't want to administer a medication on these areas. Now, once you've done your assessment, you're ready to administer the medication. And depending on what type of medication you're giving, always refer to the manufacturer's guidelines about where they want you to place the medication because some are specific. So here I'm going to use the tongue blade to help me assist opening the mouth and I'm going to place this tablet on the maxillary arch above the second molar and I want to make sure it's staying in this pouched area here. Now I want to release the tongue blade and allow the cheek to close and I am going to just take my finger and just slightly rub the area on the outside of the mouth where I placed it just to keep the tablet in place and help it dissolve. And doing this depends on the manufacturer's guidelines. Next, I'm gonna doff my gloves and perform hand hygiene. Then I'm going to document. And when you document, you wanna be specific about where you place the medication. So the next nurse knows where you gave it last in case they have to rotate the site for the next dose. For example, you could write that you went at the maxillary arch above the left second molar. Now let me give you some quick tips that you want to remember whenever you are administering a medication via this route. First, you want to make sure that you're familiar with the medication label because every medication is different. Some of these medications, they dissolve fairly quickly in this route, while others may take several hours. So you want to make sure that you're reading that label so you can get familiar with how soon your patient can eat or drink once you have administered this medication. Also, you want to make sure whenever you're handling these medications that your gloves are dry because they're activated whenever they come into contact with a moist environment. And lastly, let's say that your patient needs multiple doses of this medication and this particular medication requires that you alternate sites for each dose. Well, you always want to look back at the documentation of the other nurse and see where they placed it and then alternate the placement. Okay, so that wraps up this demonstration on how to administer a medication via the buckle route. And if you'd like to watch more nursing skill videos, you can access the link in the YouTube description below.